Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Kaylee and I are going to be sharing with you our favorite place to stay in Interlaken, Switzerland. Yes, we are so excited. Interlaken is an outdoor mecca here in Switzerland. It's very central. It's like pretty much all the activities are oh at your gosh. doorstep. So it's a really, really good home base here in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And we have fallen in love with this hotel. We actually <laughs> stayed, left, and then came back because we liked it so much. So we can't wait to share it with you. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because we are going to be sharing three of our favorite activities to do in the Interlaken area. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Kaylee. I'm David. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of travel, van life, hiking, um, mm -hmm. outdoor activities. So yeah. if you are not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you around. And also we have a Switzerland travel guide that we will link below this video if you want to check that out. If you're planning a trip to Switzerland, this has everything to do with accommodation, activities, where to eat. Just makes your life way easier if you're coming to Switzerland. Yeah, lots of budget travel tips too. So you definitely are going to want to check that out. Yep. Now let's get into the hotel. So this hotel, restaurant and spa is family run and one of a kind. The hosts here and owners, Sonia and Patrizio, have owned this property since 1994. We got the pleasure of talking to Sonia a little bit and she is the sweetest lady. She was telling us all about, she's so passionate, hey? Mm -hmm. About everything here they've dreamt up themselves. Um, the spa is absolutely incredible. It's the best spa we've been to here. Yep. They've got multiple, I think three different saunas, mm -hmm. a bunch of different showers, a relaxation steam room. room, a steam yep. room. And you can also get massages and everything. So it's a really fun place with your night stay, you get access to the spa. Starting with the breakfast, they have a huge buffet and we've absolutely taken advantage of it. <laughs> so good. They have cheese trays, tons of different types of bread, a cereal bar, a coffee machine. It's like, it's everything you need to have. Moving on to the lunch and dinner menu. So we ate here a few times. We honestly <laughs> couldn't go anywhere else because the food was so good. Like the dinner was so good. I had trout last night. Kaylee had a lasagna dish. No, or... it's like the special ravioli. It's passed ravioli. down from the owner's grandmother, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's, it's so good. Like it's uh, quite possibly the best food we had in Switzerland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything we ate was fantastic. The yeah. service, like, Everybody who works here is actually really, really nice. Yeah. The staff is just exceptional. So. so amazing. Yeah, we actually were like gushing to Sonia when we were talking to her about how amazing the staff had been and everybody was so welcoming. And she kind of just smiled and told us that they like to share their Salzano spirit is what they call it with their employees mm -hmm. and they can share it with the staff. You can tell there's just like, it there's, makes a huge difference. Yeah, there's just yeah. like so much passion in everybody. It's really cool. Yeah. So there are 31 rooms at this hotel and they kind of have everything from more basic rooms to deluxe rooms and suites. For the majority of our stay, we stayed in a Natura room, which was wonderful. I think that's yeah. what we'd recommend, but they're all, they're all so, so great. Yeah, one of the favorite parts about the rooms for me was being able to go out on the balcony and watch the paragliders in the evening. Yeah, and, and like the, the sunset. View, <laughs> the view out the back is really nice. Just... Yeah, you can see the mountains and it's just, yeah, it's so beautiful here. The beds are really comfortable. They offer um, fruit when you come in and water and there's a little coffee bar. Yeah. Got like a kettle, mini fridge, everything that you kind of could need mm -hmm. to be comfortable. We actually enjoyed our time at this property so much. So we spent like probably a week hiking and traveling around, camping a lot. And then when we got here, we didn't leave the property. Like <laughs> we ate here, we went so to the spa, nice. we just like spent two days chilling and enjoying yeah. and it was the best thing ever. Yeah. So. The hotel is actually just outside Interlaken. It's maybe five, 10 minute drive. You could walk into town for sure, yeah. if you want to. We've seen a lot of people walking in and out, uh, biking as well, but it kind of gets you like outside the hustle and bustle of like the main area, which we really like really big nice. fans of, so. And that's how you get those views too, because mm -hmm. in the city, like it's beautiful, but you've got, I mean, you, you're still in, in town, so you've got mm -hmm. a lot of houses and people around, but out yeah. here it's just a little bit more peaceful. Um, yeah, while still keeping you really close to mm -hmm. all of the activities. Yeah. Speaking of activities. All right, <laughs> top three activities to do in this area. We are gonna start with 
Number one being paragliding. Yeah. Just because it's so <laughs> popular, Kaylee and I were just seeing so many people do it and we're like, okay, we gotta do it. It's probably one of the base activities in Switzerland. Yeah. So many people do it when they travel here and it is honestly fantastic. Couldn't recommend it enough. We'll put a link below to a Company. tour group that we would recommend going with. We went on a clear blue oh, day. Perfect. It was perfect, perfect. Looking over the lakes um, when you go down, we got a little bit of a longer ride too. Well, I did actually. Kaylee didn't catch the right draft and kind of went down a little quicker, but um, it was still longer than it was supposed to be though, yeah, because yeah. it was. Um, it was really luckily, good. it was our tour guide's last ride of the day, and they were like, "Oh, you guys want to make it a little longer?" We we're like, "Heck yeah!" yeah, yeah. It got super high, <laughs> yeah. but honestly, was... the views. There's a reason there. everyone does it around <laughs> yeah. here. You just say that. So yeah. do it. Check it out. Don't miss it. Yeah. Number two on the list is the Via Ferrata from Marin to Grim Grimmelwald? Grimmelwald. Grimmelwald. <laughs> we have done one Via Ferrata before in Canada, and then when you come here, you can actually rent equipment and do it on your own, yeah. which is awesome. Much Highly cheaper. recommend it. But I wouldn't do it as your first Via Ferrata. No, if this is your first time, <laughs> probably do it guided or do it with someone who's done it before. There was quite a few people on the trail it wasn't busy or anything, but there was probably like six or seven other people, which made me like a little more comfortable because you're not just all alone on the side of a mountain. But this Via Ferrata is something else. Yeah. Like... It's one of the coolest things we've done here, It's for insane. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the bridges, it's... Uh, There's one point where you're just standing on like rebar U's sticking out of the side of the mountain yeah. with like... I don't know, how far do you think that drops down? I don't, I don't even know. Hundreds of meters. For sure. Yeah, and then you can watch paragliders go by and you can see the vat, like yeah. it's beautiful, but it is definitely intimidating. So, yes. you wanna know what you're doing a little bit. I I would do it again, like if you've done a Via Ferrata before and you kind of just know the basics of like mm -hmm. how to clip in and everything, you'll be totally fine. Yeah. Um, you can rent the gear from Intersport in Marin. Yeah. So it's really handy, it's really easy to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna make a blog post about yeah. it, like yeah. kind of just how to go about that whole thing, because there's just a couple, um, of steps to it so we will link that below and we'll probably also make a video on it so if you're looking for check more information out. on it check it out yeah number three and the last one i think this might have been my favorite was the augs Matorn hike that we did it overlooks both lakes on either side of interlochen and it is just like beautiful there's three or four different ways to do this hike actually as well. So me and Kaylee have a rental car, so we drove around the backside of the mountain and hiked up. It was the shortest of all of the options. You can actually take a cable car up part way of the mountain on either side and then hike along the ridge. It's about 16 kilometers though, so it makes for a really long day if you wanna do that. I would recommend it if the weather's nice. Yeah. It would be beautiful. Um, but me and Kaylee didn't have a ton of time, so we just ended up driving around the backside, hiking up, hiking back down the same way. But it was just phenomenal. We'll put the footage up and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. also make a blog post or YouTube video on that. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and look below. But yeah, you mm -hmm. can really access this point. And anywhere along that ridge is going to be beautiful. Yeah. Um, the bonus of driving around is that it was free. We didn't have to pay for the cable car. Mm -hmm. But it's shorter and steeper. So if you want a little bit more of like a longer and more breezy hike, mm -hmm. take the cable car. Yeah. There's also a lot of wildlife along this trail too. Yeah. We so. saw... Keep your eyes oh, peeled. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what the name of this. Um... I think they're ibex, but yeah, they have that's what they that's have... what we call them is ibex. Yeah, but we'll they put have the... a German name. Yeah, as we'll, well put that name below. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they were very cool to see. Yeah. They were just kind of chilling along the path as we went by. Yeah. So paragliding, via ferrata, and hiking. Best things to do in Interlaken. And a stay at Hotel Salzano. That's right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you around. Check out our Switzerland guide. And we'll see you in the next one. See you next week.